Hello, you're listening to Kent Richards on Cruising of Kalergi. Just down here outside the Dáil on a rather chilly uh, 10th of October here. About 10 degrees, great crowd. Never See the Antif on the far side there. And, uh, to notice amongst the crowd there, uh, Mick Clifford was there as well, from I think RTE. That's the guards obviously are doing a great job. You can see. They need the guards over on the other side rather than on this side. So I think it kind of speaks speaks a lot about the behaviour of certain elements of the crowd. So. Just take a little walk along here. The signs are very good. Lurgy fans, what are the evils? Of course, okay, thank you. Alright. Also, something that is speeding up this process rapidly was, and it is, it's ethnocide, if any of you want to know, and that's what it is, uh, was the announcement yeah, of course, yeah. in 2018 yeah. by Leo Varadkar of Project Ireland 2040. Leo Varadkar was asked about his policy on mass migration by the deputy leader of a fantastic party earlier this year, and he said, I don't have a policy on mass migration. <laughs> he does. It's called Project Ireland 2040. Look it up. It's there. Um, and if anybody wants to say this is a conspiracy theory, it's not, folks. You can just go to the United Nations website, look up their policy document called Replacement Migration. And we are all in with the UN, our establishment is. So what they're trying to do is keep the ratio of worker in every UN country exactly where the UN wants it. While the, while the Irish people in this country, the ethnic Irish, languish on housing lists for years, languish on hospital trolleys, our system can't cope with the inflow and nobody is addressing it. And to add insult to injury, we pay 5.5 billion, that is 5,500 million annually to the NGO sector in this country to write articles to call us racist for not accepting it, for not accepting it. what they have decided for us, our faith. They're also trying to overthrow the 2004 birthright citizenship referendum. We can never let that happen. That was voted in by 80% of the people of this country. And they are trying to undermine Just us every chance they get. Just in relation to the NGOs. We have to keep an eye on that. There's 20,000 NGOs operating in RTE Ireland. RTE are busy 10, telling us about the UK. 10,000 are getting games, funding from the state. Making sure that the Irish know your time is soon be over. The tax I don't know how this affects the mental NGOs. health of children, but it can't be good. I never grew up in Ireland 89 different like NGOs that. are dealing with racism in about Ireland. The new games. 89. Folks, we seen last week um, what these people over here do. They were calling Irish homeless people down in Galway Nazis. So the word Nazi means nothing. Let it, let it be, rub off your back like water off a duck's back. It has no meaning when it comes from their mouths. They don't even know what it means. Now, Another thing I, met, I meant to mention about the NGO sector is they're trying to bring in hate speech laws to stop me and other people speaking about the exact things I am speaking about here, all of the issues I have brought up. They try to ban us from the internet when we bring up these issues. The UN try to hide their documents on replacement the migration, they take them offline, then they put them back up, then they take them down. But go and check these documents out and check out Project Ireland 2040. The people at home who are watching this, if you think any of this is a conspiracy theory. But folks, there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is, I'm gonna finish with this. We have, we have a party that is willing and wanting to address these issues. No other party in this country will even recognize any of these issues I have mentioned. And they're also the only anti-lockdown party that we have. And they are here today. So be glad that we have them, respect them, and tell your families and your people about them. We have to support them, it's the only way. Thank you to the organizers of this protest. Thanks to everybody who came. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. We all want the best thing for Ireland. Don't let them put you off. They're all paid propagandists.
We're here to fight for Ireland. We're here to fight for our freedoms, our bodily autonomy. We're here to respect the Constitution and we want the equal application of the rule of law. But for that, Nietzsche, and so on that very brief point, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it short, sweet. All I wanted to say to you is thank you to each and every one of you for turning out here today. It takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of strength, to just keep walking on because more will follow, more will come. That's all you have to understand.